Hi ho folks and welcome back to the adventures of Turwinkle the Gnome Mage. Well hi Turwinkle. Hi there. Are you all set for tonight? Sure. Well great because as you can see here we're in Forellis on the Forgotten Coast right outside of Feathermoon. We're going to be meeting with the guild called the Sentinels of the Blade and an all elf night elf guild and we're going to find out all about their wonderful wonderful RP. And this is just a beautiful zone. I'm going to zoom out a little here. Let you folks see uh, what we're looking at here. And there's a beautiful waterfall behind us. And over there is uh, Feathermoon. And so we're going to hop over there and uh, find out all about this wonderful guild. Again, the Sentinels of the Blade. Alrighty, folks. Well, we found them here in Feathermoon the Sentinels of the Blade. And right up front, we've got Druaz, uh, the commander of the Sentinels of the Blade. He is a level 90 Night Elf Druid. Hello, sir. Hello, Terwinkle. It is a pleasure uh, to meet you and your fine guild. I've really been looking forward to talking with you folks and finding out all about uh, the Sentinels of the Blade. And I see you've brought a fine group with you here tonight. Yes, I brought my best. Oh, excellent. And I, I see you are wearing uh, something over your eyes. Now, are, are you blind? No, well, this is uh, just a souvenir I took. I was with uh, adventurers who did a famous hero in our lore. And this is just a token, a reminder of that battle. I found that it actually helps me train when I transition into my feral form so that my eyes don't have to adjust so much to the light. Oh, well, excellent. That's a wonderful RP behind that. So, great. So, let's go ahead and meet uh, these fine folks you brought with you tonight. All right. Uh, starting to my right is a new recruit, Stiletto, a rogue, um, who we are going to be inducting tonight. I don't know much about her, but I look forward to getting to know her on the field of battle. Here she will be a brave soldier in the no order. Oh, well, excellent. Um, next to her is Elwindris. He's an officer in Sentinels. He is the Zindora, which means glory of the truth. Um, and uh, he has sort of my right hand in the guild. And to my left, Ayala Starstrider. He's a junior officer in the guild, and she is also a feral druid. Next to her, a full officer, Keldron, a mage. He's the Zin Sarar, which means Glory of the Blades, and he leads our PvP. And next to him is Ternathra Stormcaller. And she is also she is a an honored student in the guild, which means she has been inducted and she's at the first level rank. Alright, well thank you all for uh coming with uh Jurass tonight and uh look forward to talking with all of you more as we go along in the interview. So with that folks, we'll come back and we will start learning all about the Sentinels of the Blade. Alrighty sir, and so how did you come up with the name for the guild, Sentinels of the Blade? Well the name of the guild uh, has come down uh, through the years to us. Um, we are a squadron within the main Sentinel Army, so that's where Sentinel comes from. Of the blade, uh, it's commonly misunderstood. It's actually not our blades, but we are the blade of General Chandra's Feathermoon, who's up in the room behind you, as a matter of fact, and we are her blades. So we are a particular squadron within the Sentinel Army, and we are the Sentinels of the blade. Okay, and so obviously a military type guild. Are you guys a heavy, medium, or light RP guild? We uh, vary between medium and heavy. When we are having the events, we do play heavy RP, um, but we also have fun before and after and switch into medium RP, so there's some, a little bit of joking around as well. Oh, well, great. Yeah, there's nothing, I think, for me, I find that more enjoyable than a ultra heavy RP guild because it, it allows you to uh, have a little fun as well and not be so quote unquote serious uh, all the time so I, I like that that style as well now what is the history what is the backstory to the Sentinels of the Blade what is their RP storyline 
Well, this is a small squadron within the main Sentinel Army. The Sentinel Army, just briefly, is the Night Elf Army. Um, it's an elite fighting force, and we are a smaller force within that. We're kind of an experimental group in that uh, we've had Worgen, we've had other races in the guild uh, in this order, but right now we are Night Elf only, a little more traditional. Um, also, we've started blending within the last uh, 12 years or so. The Night Elves finally started having female druids and male sentinels, which was never true in the history of Night Elf history. Um, and so this is something where we're trying, This is we're kind of an experimental core group where things are tried out. Oh, well, great. So that kind of gives you uh, freedom in your RP to kind of uh, go down certain storylines that you might not otherwise be able to do. Is that correct? Yes, that's a great way to look at it. It sure does. Well, wonderful. And so, folks, when we come back, we're going to learn a little bit more about their RP style, and we're going to talk a little bit about how you get into the Sentinels of the Blade. So we'll be right back with that. Alrighty, Jurus. Now, you are an all Night Elf Guild, is that correct? Yes, it is. Do you have any plans to include other races into the guild at the, at the moment? Or? No, we're, uh, we want to focus on Night Elf roleplay, and we probably the best way to do that. Okay, and so, say I have a new Night Elf on the server, and seen the episode, and I'm interested in in joining you guys. Who do I who do I talk to? It's quite easy. They can talk to anybody that they see online uh, in the guild. Uh, they are, will be passed over to an officer for an invite. Um, so the people in the guild, of course, will know who to pass them along to. Okay. Do you have an age restriction? No age restriction. Right. How about a class restriction? Is there a class restriction in joining you guys? There isn't. Uh, we don't allow warlocks, but that's fine because night elves uh, can't be warlocks anyway. Okay. <laughs> so there are no class <laughs> restrictions either. <laughs> All right. Excellent. And so, do you folks have a website that people can go to? Yes, we do. Let me pull that up. Do you want me just to read that to you? Sure, that'd be great. Okay. It's Sentinels of the Blade. That's all one word, no hyphens or spaces. Dot engine, and that's spelled E N J I N dot com. All right, excellent. And so they can find all these requirements on there as well. They can find general information there, yes. Okay. And is there a level requirement in joining the Sentinels? No level of the requirement. Blade? Okay. No, there's not. Well, great. That sounds like it's a fairly straightforward as far as getting in so uh, excellent so folks when we come back um, we are going to uh, get a little further into what it takes not only to get in but what happens when you do get in to the sentence of the blade so we'll be right back with that alrighty folks we had two new people show up here uh, during the interview which is great more is always better in my book. And so who do we have here, sir? We have uh, Major Lena Starshine, and she is a um, been in the uh, guild for a while. She, her rank is Nalfala, means knower of the balance. And next to her is Everin Stillbreeze, a mage, and she is a Theroshan, or honored student in the guild. Oh, well, excellent. Well, thank you for uh, coming, folks. And so we'll go ahead and have you step back in line there. Alrighty, sir. And so talking about getting into the guild, um, IC, do you do any IC or OOC interviews? We used to require an IC interview, but uh, as I talked to people who are kind of new to roleplay, they said it was intimidating, and some even said they wouldn't consider joining a guild required that up front because it was scary for them and I thought well there's no reason to have that requirement uh, in that case what I do is um, allow people to join the guild I ask how they heard about us um, and let them demonstrate in the first month or so if they're a good fit in the guild I kind of watch them kind of closely and generally there are no problems oh excellent 
Alrighty, so Turnwinkle has made it into the guild as his new Night Elf. And so, where am I placed within the ranks there? What happens? Your first rank is called Theroshan, which means uh, Honored Student. You're actually a recruit until you've gone through your induction ceremony, which uh, we may uh, do one of those tonight to show you, at which point you receive that rank of Theroshan. And you um, basically kind of watch the orders and paths we have within, within the guild and see where you'd like to fit in, whether it would be more RP, more PvP, or even maybe a little bit of PvE. And uh, once you've decided, you let me know. Oh, excellent. And so, folks, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about that and find out what kind of guild rules I have to abide by now that I'm in the guild. So we'll be right back with that. Alrighty, sir. So now that I've made it in the guild, what kind of guild rules uh, do you have for members? Our rules are pretty simple. Uh, the basic one is to treat the other members with kindness. Um, so that certainly rules out mean to anyone. Um, if there are any disagreements, it's stated in the guild bank and both tabs that those are to be talked about privately between anyone who has a disagreement. Uh, and they're welcome to bring an officer in if they'd like. Um, also at our RP events, we are required to be in character and act as their character. If they're not, they are uh, reminded a few times to do so. It's pretty basic. Sure. Now, as a military guild, uh, of course, do you have to, I mean, if an officer tells you to do something, you have to do that? Is that how you guys are run? or Not uh, only if we were doing an RP storyline as such. We don't generally play a strict officer ordering people around uh, approach. Um, we kind of look a little bit at the uh, Aldorai uh, lore, which were, people were treated a little more like equals, even though there was certainly um, military structures needed in certain instances. General, no. All right. And so how are you guys structured? What are your guild ranks like? All right, I'll go through those. Um, as I, I've mentioned, it'll be Theroshan a few times, and that's honored student. I, I chose that instead of just Thero, which just means student, because I wanted anyone in the guild to know that they are uh, have been honored and are honored by us as uh, something important as a soldier in the guild. The next step up is Fala. The, these are all taken from Darnassian, the night elf language. Now Fala means knower of the balance. So that's someone who's learned a little bit about uh, Sentinels and a little bit about what we do, and so they're a little more advanced. The next one is Ana Dieb, and this is when they become a junior officer. That means our family. So now they are kind of a central core part of the Sentinel. Next uh, rank is Elder, and that's uh, where former GMs go, or people who have been long time in the guild and maybe are a little less active, but were important in the guild are. Um, then we move to Full Officer, which is Anatala, means our survival, and that title is meant to really uh, impact, make an impact statement is that they are an important line between the top officer ranks and the rest of the troops. And then the top ranks, we have four, one of them is empty right now, and the word Zin means uh, glory, or glory of, and so Zin, Zin Dalar. Uh, is a, our person in charge of role play, Delar, are the keepers, and we I consider that the people who kind of keep us to the lore of Night Elves so that we don't go astray in our role play. Zendora, this, that's Glory of the Truth, and that relates to going out and doing PvE um, and uncovering artifacts, uncovering in dungeons our history and that sort of thing. Zen Sarar, Glory of the Blade, <clears throat> and that's the person in charge of our PvE. And then finally, Zen Dieb, which is Glory of the Family, and that's person who is our outreach, and they relate between us and other guilds so that we can coordinate activities. And then finally, at the top is the One Commander, and that's me. All right, excellent. And so, how do you get promoted within those ranks? Those are actually spelled out very clearly in the Guild Bank and Vote Tab, so that people always know how do I move up in the Guild. And it has to do with being active in the Guild, and sharing and participating in guild events in general. Um, the further up you move along a path, 
So any of those that I just said, Zora, Sarar, Yeb, or Dalar, uh, people kind of focus on one of those paths, and the more active they are in creating events and participating in events, um, then they are then promoted at the induction and promotion ceremony. All right, well, wonderful. And so, folks, uh, here at the end of this interview, we are going to get the chance to see an induction ceremony take place. So we're looking forward to that. And you said you have one spot open in the upper ranks. Are, are you saving that for Terwinkle by any chance? Uh, well, if Terwinkle would come, on, come to us as a night elf, I would certainly consider it. <laughs> All right. Well, excellent. He may have a spell for that. Uh, he can look that up. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, wonderful. And so, folks, when we come back, we are going to find out about guild events in the Sentinels of the Blade. So we'll be right back with that. All righty, folks. Up next, we're going to talk about the Sentinel of the Blade's guild events. And so to talk with us about that is Eldwiss. And so, ma'am... What kind of guild events uh, do you folks have in the Sentinels of the Blade? Uh, well, we have uh, events for each path, uh, PvE, RP, and PvP, uh, weekly events that everybody can do if they want. Okay, such as? Uh, well, we have uh, Sundays, we do the Sentinel rallies twice each month, and we also do a Sentinel dinner for everybody to get together. and just talk and eat with each other. Uh, Friday we have uh, Pig and Whistle, which is our tavern night, where we go out to Stormwind just to connect with the rest of the RP community. Oh, well, wonderful. Now, doing your RP events and such here on Emerald Dream is kind of a different situation than having, say, do them on Wormrest Accord. Uh, do you find that you have to do them more, if you're wanting just to strictly focus on the RP, do them more in the main cities? Uh, I guess I would say so that we kind of do. Yeah, that way you're not getting uh, attacked by the Horde, is that correct? <laughs> we don't mind getting attacked by the Horde, but yeah. Okay, well, excellent. And so... Uh, do you find that, uh, especially in your RP or maybe even your PvP events, uh, do you folks do a lot of world PvP? Uh, yeah, the main thing or uh, focus of the guild is RP PvP. So we often like to set up RP PvP skirmishes with a lot of horde guilds. Okay, now is there a particular horde guild that you guys tend to hook up with a lot? I guess I would have to say... Uh, Probably the local orc guilds we have, like Clan Stormfist, are, have been usually the people we've fought. But we've fought, we fought with like Death Knight guilds, a variety. We have a lot of, I guess, allies, hard side, <laughs> if you want to call it that, that we can do our PvP with. Sure, that you can participate and, and it be something that's fun rather than something that's annoying. Is that correct? Yep. Oh, excellent. Well, great. Now, do you folks have any guild meetings that you do on a maybe a bi-weekly or a bi-monthly uh, fashion? Um, no, I wouldn't say we do a monthly or weekly meeting. We'll do one if we need to do one, but it's not like a regular thing we do. Okay. Well, excellent. It sounds like you guys have a lot of stuff that you do that uh, brings the guild together. And that's always, I think, a very important part of any guild is uh, having these types of events uh, occur regularly uh, to keep everyone engaged and having a lot of fun in the guild. So that sounds like you guys are uh, doing exactly that. So wonderful. So folks, when we come back, we're going to talk about what the Sentinel of the Blades is up to currently as far as their storyline is concerned. So we'll be right back with that. Alrighty, sir. So what what are you guys currently doing as a guild? What what kind of uh, storyline? Where are we at with the Sentinels of the Blade at the moment? Well, since we're RP PvP, we like to mix it up. Um, we currently, for instance, our RP storyline was finding an artifact of the Highborn, and we traveled all over Gondor and even further over into the Eastern Kingdoms as the clues led us along. Um, and that story is still continuing a little bit. It was 
quite a mystery, and it was a lot of fun. It was led by one of our members, who's really good at RP. Um, we just assisted, uh, to show you how, kind of how we interact with Horde side guilds, we just assisted, as a matter of fact, yesterday, one of the Horde guilds that's um, on the server, Clan Stormfist, and um, they're having a festival for all the Orc guilds on the uh, server, and they asked us to just help them out, and it's a little bit of uh, out-of-character play with them. They had a, a race all, all around Outland, and they wanted us to go and kind of stun and CC down the uh, racers whenever oh. we wanted to, kind of <laughs> prank Wonderful. them. And yeah. So, yeah, they knew that's what we were there for, and they all loved it. They had a great time, and so did we. Um, and then, as far as our PPV, uh, we haven't uh, had anything recently, but um, in about a month ago, we had several encounters with a few uh, board guilds where I get in vent or TS with their guild masters so that we're in contact, and we have rules set down where we walk onto the battlefield, we put our guild banners down, and we don't begin fighting until an agreed upon time, and it's equal numbers of players on each side. Uh, and then the res, you know, the resurrecting, that's always uh, worked out ahead of time, the rules on that. And that's a lot of fun. And uh, we have some of that We have some of that coming up. We have several Horde side guilds who are usually interested in, in any time we want to and uh, having fun with that. Um, one of the things I'll do out of here is patrols. And we'll go and patrol into Feralus on our on ground mounts, on our night sabers. And we'll have arranged a skirmish ahead of time and at some point along our patrol, there will be a horde guild <laughs> messing around, <laughs> and they get caught, and we have a little bit of a throwdown. That's that's typical of this guild, is a small-scale RP PvP skirmish. Well, wonderful. It sounds like a lot of fun. and so It's, it's great. Now, as far as the RP storyline is concerned, uh, you found the artifact, did you? We found some clues to it, found pieces of it. As a matter of fact, we've uh, actually been joked around with with a um, very mischievous Sindorai who had us crawling around in the Dalaran sewers. I'm sure he got a <laughs> kick out of that. And we ended up at Karajan, as a matter of fact, collect some things. So um, I think that we're still trying to get to the bottom of that story. Oh, wonderful. It sounds like a lot of fun. So excellent. So folks, when we come back, we're getting to my favorite part of the interview where we're going to talk to each member here and find out what they enjoy about being in the Sentinels of the Blade. So we'll be right back with that. All right, folks, again, this is my favorite part of the guild interviews is where we get to talk to the guild members about their prospective guilds and what keeps them in their guild. And so first up tonight, we have Stormcrawler, uh, Thero Shane of the Sentinels of the Blade, is a level 90 night elf warrior. And so, ma'am, what do you enjoy about being in the Sentinels of the Blade? Uh, I really like everything about being in Sentinels of the Blade. It, the, the guild is a really good fit for me for a lot of reasons. Uh, the people are super friendly and super encouraging. It's a great mix of uh, serious heavy RP with lighter stuff. Um, and most of all, they've been really encouraging to me about learning how to PvP. Of course, Emerald Dream is an RP PvP server. I came here for the RP, and I, and I have <coughs> had a really challenging time trying to get over my anxiety about PvP, and Sentinels of the Blade has been really helpful in that. They're so encouraging. Everyone in the guild is really friendly um, and very helpful. It's just it's a terrific guild. The RP is a lot of fun. The PvP is a lot of fun. And we have a really good attitude in this guild, I think, towards the community as well. All righty. Well, excellent, excellent answer. Thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, more than All righty, folks. Up next, we have Keldron. He is a level 90 night elf mage. And so, sir, I see you brought someone with you. Who did you bring with you here? Actually, I didn't bring that one. She followed me. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, wonderful. So, sir, what do you enjoy about being in the Sentinels of the Blade? Like-minded role players. I also like the camaraderie that's in the guild. It's also a very small guild. Also, no bad drama. Oh, that's important. I, I think uh, that in itself says volumes because nothing worse than uh, drama in a guild. It's, uh, well, it depends on the 
Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you. It actually depends on the type of drama. Good that's drama. <laughs> yes, that's true. It's usually storylines or the personality conflicts that can arise just based on the storyline. Bad drama is usually personal stuff that's unnecessary and it can tear an organization apart. Sure, sure. And well said, sir. Well, thank you very much. All righty, folks. Up next is Kayala. And she's a level 90 night elf druid. And so, ma'am, what do you enjoy about being in the Sentinels of the Blade? Well, basically everything. They, The other two basically stole my words. There's a lot of friendly people in the guild, and the activities we do are very are varied and you know interesting and it keeps it keeps it very fun oh excellent and yeah there's nothing better than being in a guild where there's always something to do because it can get a little stale uh doing the pvp and the pve stuff and yeah. especially if you've already done it all um and you've yeah. seen everything so i think that's where we as our peers get to continue having fun in the game where we're still doing storylines and, and that sort of thing. So, excellent mm, answer. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Alrighty, folks. Up next, we have El Windris, and she's a level 90 Night Elf Druid. And so, ma'am, what do you enjoy about being in the Sentinels of the Blade? Well, there are many things I like about being in Sentinels of the Blade. The RP is very focused and is unique currently on the server, which is Sentinel RP. The Sentinels are an important part of Kaldori culture, which is what this guild captivates on. And they also offer other aspects of Kaldori culture, such as like a small order priest called the North Pharaoh, a scholar order called Oduna, and a druid order called Durdieb. People in the guild are extremely friendly and they are so much uh, fun to be around. They are very passionate about Night of Floor, which is what drives this guild forward and strives me to become a better RPer and has made me a better friend uh, to many people in this guild. And I just love the guild and the people in it, which is why I want to see this guild become an even bigger success and hopefully a place where other Night Elf RPers may call home. So in the end, I just hope for Sentinel's Blade to draw in more Night Elf RPers, which is actually something uh, ML Dream seems to lack currently. So I hope maybe this will open people up to try Night Elf Floor, because I know it can be intimidating with, you know, the large age most Night Elves usually tend to be, and how much lore you need to know to play one. Alright, well, excellent, excellent answer, ma'am. Thank you very much. Alrighty, folks, up next is uh, Lena, and she's a level 88 Night Elf Mage, and Lena says... Again, I asked her what she enjoys about being <laughs> in the Sentinels of the Blade. And Lena says, I like everything, although everyone else has said that. Everything is awesome. I especially like the RP and the people in the guild, which is a great answer. So thank you very much, Lena. All right, up next is Everett, and she's a level 90 Night Elf Mage. And ma'am, what do you enjoy about being in the Sentinels of the Blade? Um, <laughs> I'm going to start off how everybody else did. I love everything. Uh, but honestly, it's the it's the RP that um, brought me to the guild first. Uh, I joined back when the guild was still Sisters of the Blade uh, in its original form. And it was something I'd been looking for for a really long time. I was still new to RP. And Night Elf lore just fascinated me. And so when I saw this guild had formed, I immediately jumped on it. And I've never looked back since. This has always been home for me and probably always will be, um, no matter where I have various alts. Um, but uh, the RP here has always been great. Um, just the activities that we do um, and, I don't know, no matter how many changes we've been through, uh, we still, you know, are, are holding together. So it's, it's definitely a, a family unit and, and I really enjoy being here. Oh, great. That is a fantastic answer. Thank you very much, ma'am. Alrighty, folks. Up next, we have Stiletto, and she is a level 85 Night Elf Rogue. And I asked Stiletto again, what do you enjoy about being in the Sentinels of the Blade? 
And she says, I really enjoy their commitment to RP and making ED a better place in general. I've always felt welcomed, even though I'm a very new to Night Elf RP and RP in general. I remember my first serious RP is events with them. We did a patrol and a campfire story telling event, and I know I was stumbling, but Juris and Fethin and the rest of the gang were so supportive and, and encouraging that I found the fondness for RP that I had not had before and discovered the shady underbelly of WoW, which is actually nice being nice uh, to people, something not always <laughs> readily apparent from trade chat, which is very true. And it's always nice to find a group of folks that are nice and welcoming and make you feel kind of at home and relaxed and not like uh, Stiletto said here, uh, the opposite of that, which is uh, that dark <laughs> underbelly that she speaks of, of wow, and that really kind of the rude and and uh, you don't know what you're doing, noob type talk. So great, and that is a fantastic answer. Thank you very much, man. All righty, folks. Up next, Juris, commander of the Sentinels of the Blade. He's the leader and a level 90 night elf druid. And so, sir, what do you enjoy about leading this fine guild? Well, this guild uh, is a group of wonderful people, and I really do love them. Um, there is an intense commitment, and I do mean intense, because it's uh, ongoing, focus on night elf role play. And that's kind of why we're all here in this guild. And there's really no way given to going any other way and that's kind of what carries this guild oh well wonderful you know you can always tell how well a guild is doing by its leadership and I think just talking to everybody tonight in between takes and uh, as we've gone along here and I can see that everybody really enjoys uh, the time that they have here and one of the things that I've heard throughout the night is how much they enjoy each other's company and how much they really love the RP in this guild, the Night Elf uh, theme that you folks have here. And so I think you're doing an excellent job here, sir, and have a wonderful guild because of it. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You bet. And so, folks, when we come back, we're going to give the... the uh, floor to uh, Juris here and allow him to add anything that we might have missed uh, during the interview. So we'll be right back with that. Alrighty folks, well here we are again with the Sentinels of the Blades and so Juris, go ahead and add what you would like to add here for the folks out there. Alright, we are a guild of friendly, of friendly players and we are dedicated to Night Elf roleplay. Um, and we're dedicated to intense night elf role play. We try to play as close to lore as is practical. And the focus of the guild and our RP is role play EVP against horde side guilds who are also dedicated to their racial role play. And so we, if you would enjoy something like this pretty intense and unique experience, we would invite you to uh, seek us out, Sentinels of the Blade. Well, excellent. And again, let me just uh, go ahead and do a ditto on that, folks. This is really a great guild. If you have a night elf and are looking for a fun guild to join, uh, these folks are fantastic. And I really can't uh, praise them enough. Their role play is really solid. Their guild concept is sound. And really, I think uh, you would have a lot of fun if uh, you're looking for a great guild to join. This is certainly one to come and investigate and hopefully uh, get involved with. So wonderful. And folks, so when we come back, Turwick will give his final goodbyes to this great guild, the <laughs> Sentinels of the Blade. Alrighty, folks, and we are back. And so again, we want to thank the Sentinels of the Blade for taking the time tonight to uh, answer all of Turwinkle's pestering questions. And what do we have here? Uh, this is, what is this called? This is a Tobergen, as okay. opposed to a <laughs> Okay. We think it may, may be from Kaldori lore, but we're not sure. Okay, this is a, a ritual of some sort, is this correct? Yeah, this <laughs> was uh, for druidic battles in the icy slopes. Um, 
and uh, it just helped us get downhill faster. We would slide together, and we would the uh, non druids would sit beside us and hold on to our fur as we slid down the hill. <laughs> and as you can hear, my my dogs were very disturbed by this, and uh, this is just a. <laughs> Your night elves are somewhat disturbed by it, too. <laughs> yes, this is wonderful. Well, thank you again, folks. And, uh, folks, we will see Turwinkle back in uh, Chilwin Camp with his final thoughts on <laughs> not only the... T- uh, what is it called again? The... Tobergen. Tobergen. <laughs> but on this wonderful guild, the Sentinels of the Blade. So we shall see you folks back in Chilwin Camp. Alrighty, well, we made it safe and sound back to Chilwin Camp. And Turwinkle, boy, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Affirmative. You bet. And so let's give those fine folks of the Sentinels of the Blade a nice thank you. I am in your debt. We certainly are. So thank you once again to the Sentinels of the Blade for their patience and for the time that they took out of their busy schedule to speak with us and to answer all of Turwinkle's pestering questions, which, as I must point out, sir, was right on point as always. And so folks, if you like this episode, click that like button. If you would like to comment on this episode or on any of our others, please do so below. Let us know what you liked and let us know what you didn't. And finally, if you'd like to subscribe, well, we would love to have you. So hit that subscription button today. Well, Turwinkle, excellent job, sir. And I guess, Turwinkle, we will see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye, Turwinkle. Bye-bye.